having to, we'd have to replant a field of corn nearly every year because the seed wouldn't fit the, the seed plate. And a fertilizer salesman came one day, came one day at the shop and he said, I wish somebody had built a better planter. He said, we're blamed for everything, seed corn, fertilize everything of the bad stands. And I said, oh, that won't be too hard to do. So I built about two, even got patents on them, but I, after I got about halfway through, I knew it wasn't saleable, I knew it wasn't practical. And I said, I've got to go farther because I've got to do something that will handle any size of seed corn, no adjustments. And so I said, how do you do that? It, nearly, it comes down to a V-shape. A V-shape will hold any size within limitations, smallest to the largest. But how do you handle the thing? And I was shelling corn one day, got up in the grain tank on the combine and took a corn stalk and just made a kind of a scissor effect out of that corn stalk and would job it down in the grain of corn. When I came together with it, it had one grain of corn in that wedge. And I went home and told my wife, I said, I've got it. I said, I know how to do it. <laughs> he liked to drove me nuts for about eight months. But anyway, I said, I know you can't use the whole V because you got to get rid of the grains of corn. You know, when you pick them up, you got to get rid of them. So you use half of it. Kind of like a golf club. That's the finger pickup that's used now. Well, uh, you, I started with that. Then, within eight months, I had the working model that I had wanted. And uh, <coughs> nearly all the companies wanted it had heard, heard that I was working on something at that time. They didn't know what it was, but... Uh, International came down and wanted to trade with me, and within three days after they saw what I had, they went back and started making designs around what I had, you know, to try to surround me. But uh, then I traded, I went up to see John Deere, and uh, Harold Hansen was the chief engineer up there in Plow and Planter Works. And he said, What have you got? And I said, Well, I'll planter mechanism and they'll hand any, handle any sizes. He says, let's go down in, uh, in the basement and see, check this out. He started it up in one grain of popcorn. I had it all mixed. I, I had uh, about 50 samples of every size that I could come up with. Plus, they were all mixed together. Yeah. And I'd try one grade and then all mixed together. And then one grade. And when I came up with 98% accuracy, I said, I think I've got something. And when I showed it to ha uh, Harold, he said, That's the first blankety blank thing I've ever seen. He said, Go up to the patent department and see what you can get worked out. 